Located in the middle of Michigan's Lake Huron, Mackinac Island is a popular destination with tourists from around the world thanks to its tranquil scenery and interesting history. From visiting one of its historical forts to checking out the butterflies at Wings of Mackinac, join Vucation as we take a look at the best things to do on Mackinac Island, Michigan. Visit one of Mackinac Island's historical forts. There are a few notable historical forts that can be visited while on Mackinac Island. Fort Mackinac is the one that draws the most tourists. At the time of its military use, it was used as an encampment for military members and their families. Today, the fort has been renovated to look just like it did back then, but its many buildings house historical exhibits instead of active military members. Fort Mackinac is comprised of 14 individual buildings, and each houses a separate exhibit showcasing a unique aspect of both the fort and its surrounding area's historical significance. Together, these 14 exhibits make up one of the most interesting museums that can be found not only on the island, but in the entire state. You'll learn everything you need to know about Fort Mackinac and its military use through the museum's many exhibits, including the reason Mackinac was chosen as the fort's strategic location. Visitors today will be treated to more than just pictures and artifacts, as shows are put on that attempt to bring audiences back to the past in a much more visceral way. These shows include mock firings of authentic cannons, as well as displays of the kind of military exercises that soldiers would have done back in the day. All these various attractions certainly make Fort Mackinac one of the most fun places on the island to visit. History buffs will also get quite a bit out of visiting Fort Holmes. The historical fort originally went by a different name, but it was renamed Fort Holmes in honor of the American Major Andrew Hunter Holmes. The military man was killed during the War of 1812. Today, this fort does more than just commemorate the fallen leader. Tourists are also drawn to Fort Holmes on account of its unique construction, which utilized both wood and dirt. There's also the fact that it sits on the tallest hill on the island. Experience the wonder of Old Mackinac Point Lighthouse Old Mackinac Point Lighthouse isn't actually located on Mackinac Island. It's situated across the water on the shore of Mackinac City. Still, the attraction is often lumped in with those featured on Mackinac Island due to its proximity. The lighthouse is only a ferry ride away, and taking it will give you an idea of what it was like when the lighthouse was in use. Today, the old Mackinac Point Lighthouse is no longer used the way it once was. It's been converted into a museum of sorts that has plenty to teach. It's been renovated to look the way it did back in the day, and there are several exhibits that show visitors what it was like in the times when it was in use. You can take free tours of the lighthouse, and it also houses the Straits of Mackinac Shipwreck Museum. It teaches visitors about the history of the many shipwrecks that can be found lining its namesake, Straits of Mackinac. The area containing these 12 notable shipwrecks has now been designated as the Straits of Mackinac Shipwreck Preserve, and it's located in the waters between Lake Michigan and Lake Huron. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Take the kids to historic Mill Creek Discovery Park. The most popular state park on the island is arguably historic Mill Creek Discovery Park. It used to go by the designation of historic Mill Creek State Park, but the word discovery has since been added to its name because mere state park status didn't seem exciting enough for the attraction-filled destination. Historic Mill Creek Discovery Park is certainly much more than your average state park. It has a historically-themed live show portraying its namesake sawmill in action, as well as a great children's playground. The park is named after the sawmill it houses, which used to provide wood to the entire surrounding area. Today, it's only used for historical appeal, and visitors to the park can watch costumed workers act out what it was like to use the sawmill back in the day. Watching the workers is certainly interesting, but can be a bit of a bore for the children. Thankfully, the park also houses some interactive sections that are much more exciting for kids. It has a great children's playground as well as a hands-on water power station that will give visitors of all ages the chance to play with authentic replicas of 18th century water wheels. It also features climbing walls and hiking trails and gives visitors the chance to go zip lining. All these combine to make it much more than just another state park. Learn about unique forms of art at the Richard and Jane Manoogian Mackinac Art Museum. This museum focuses on a more expansive yet lighthearted topic. It's an art museum, though the art it showcases varies a great deal in terms of both origin and the medium. Among the many wonders that can be found within it include Native American pieces of beadwork, 19th century photos, and maps dating all the way back to the 1600s. 
The section dedicated to Native American artwork showcases a variety of different forms of art that indigenous people of the area practiced, though the most awe-inspiring of these has to be the intricately beaded articles of clothing. The section on the history of photography features a stunning variety of photographs, some dating all the way back to the medium's earliest days. There are photographs from the mid-1800s, and the museum also features plenty of notable photographs over the ensuing years. This leads up to some stunning photographs from recent years, which will show you just how far the medium has come. The art museum rounds out its eclectic collection with such things as maps that date all the way back to the 17th century, as well as various multimedia exhibits. There's plenty to enjoy at the museum for kids and adults alike, and there are also activities just for children. Visit the stunning natural formation of Arch Rock Those who want to see all that Mackinac Island has to offer in terms of natural beauty won't want to miss out visiting Arch Rock. It's a natural rock formation that spans 50 feet at its widest point, and it's comprised of limestone. The namesake arch was formed over the years as a result of both wind and water erosion and was said to have taken many thousands of years. Back in the day, Native Americans claimed that Arch Rock had supernatural powers, and legends still persist that the formation retains some magical properties. Check out the butterflies at Wings of Mackinac The last Mackinac attraction we'll look at is Wings of Mackinac. It's a butterfly conservatory that houses hundreds of species of the beautiful insect. The serene location features some stunning scenery, as there are numerous flowers to keep both butterflies and tourists feeling like they're home. Visitors also get the chance to check out the numerous birds and frogs, as well as some goats. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites on Mackinac Island? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.